I'm Perry. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of Frazy. Um, and Frazy is software that writes better email subject lines than you and you and definitely you. Um, it's a really crazy thing. So Frazy is kind of crazy. Where what it does is it solves that problem that everybody wants to solve with AI. There's companies here who are like curing cancer with AI. There's companies who are providing autonomous vehicles with AI. But we're doing something much more important. We're helping big brands throughout the world get better results from their email marketing. If you guys get emails from brands like eBay or Domino's or stuff like that, then you've experienced our software without knowing it, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you're into that. Um, so let's actually talk about AI, because here's the thing. It doesn't actually matter that we use AI. What actually matters is that we identified a problem and built a solution to it, which happens to use AI, but it's a buzzword, so we can charge more for it, which is pretty cool. So the first thing we use is natural language generation, which is a very unknown school of AI, but it's pretty dope. It's where you can create language that's indistinguishable from humans. Here's a bunch of subject lines. I did not think this through. It's really small. Um, some of these were written by a human, some of them were written by a machine. Here's the big charade, but we don't really have time because it's ticking down. Um, so I'll just tell you, the one in green was written by a human, the rest were all written by our machine, which is pretty cool. So what this proves is that we can, at scale, write language that's indistinguishable from that which humans write. And that's pretty cool. But what if the language sucks? So what we also have is a deep learning model, which is end-to-end, -end, that can predict the performance of a subject line before it's sent out. And this is a real power. So these are the same subject lines which were uh, used by Domino's Pizza, um, who uh, sent these out in an actual real-world split test. And one of them got the best open rate in real life. Usually I would go, can you guess which one? We go through a little charade, but I'm on the clock. So I'll just tell you, this is the really cool part. What you see on the left is the actual rank from the live split test. And then on the right is what Frazy's uh, deep learning engine predicted. Now, if we ask humans which ones they think won, humans apply their own cognitive bias. And they go, I like that one the best, therefore it's going to work the best. And they'll have the most boring conversation ever in the history of humankind arguing about subject lines, which is actually a real thing that marketing people do, believe it or not. Um, Kind of lame. So instead of doing that, what Frazy does, it generates content at scale um, and then tells you which one is the best. So that's super dope. We got great technology and we got a whole bunch of brands around the world who are using us, which is fun. But actually what matters is not the technology, it's the business that actually brings the technology to market. So I gotta tell you five things that I believe makes Frazy super dope. Number one, awesome founders. Of course, I'm gonna say that, but let me put it like this. So that's me, I'm the mouse. You got uh, Dr. Neil over there, who's the brains. And we got Victoria in the middle, who's a general, who gets shit done, basically. Um, but we're backed by an amazing team of people. Now, our team is over 50% female. They hail from around Europe, America, Australia, Canada, even the Sudan. And what our company really represents is the diversity of a modern um, culture, which we all live in. And I think this is really important. We're based in London. It's even more important to me personally um, being a job-stealing immigrant, um, according to Brexit, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we also have an awesome brand, so it's great if you have super dope tech, who really cares. What you gotta do is you gotta stand out and be memorable. And people only ever need to see us once, and they remember us after that. We also have awesome customers, which I know is kind of weird, like a tech company, we should all be about the tech and the VC and stuff like that. But we actually have customers paying us money. So we got like Saul from Virgin Holidays, who says that we've made him millions of pounds, which is a currency unit in the UK, um, in case you didn't know. But ultimately, we have a great business model. Now, we have no intention of being a unicorn. We've raised like about a million pounds um, a year and a half ago, uh, and actually we're fueled by customer revenue. In fact, last month was the first time that we ever made a profit, um, and we see that continuing on moving forward. I know it's crazy to come to the Bay Area and talk about a startup actually making a profit. I'm glad you're sitting down, because this would kind of wow you. But why can't we just use awesome tech and build a company that creates awesome jobs and provides a service to huge companies throughout the world. It's pretty simple. When you combine artificial intelligence and human language, you get crazy, and it's awesome. Thanks. Uh, that was awesome, instead. Uh, so, um, uh, what's, what's, the, what's the growth? Uh, what are the growth areas? Are you moving beyond the subject? Are you moving into different languages, what's, what's the logic there? 
Yeah, so as far as languages go, we operate in all the major Western, Western European languages. So English, French, Spanish. We have a customer who uses us in Danish, bizarrely. The Danes love a bit of email. It's crazy. Um, and then as far as cross-channel applications, absolutely. I don't want to reveal too much, but we have some big plans in 2018 that include global expansion and product diversification. Um, but I got to tell you, it's amazing how much money brands spend on email by itself. It's kind of cool. So is your platform writing more than just the subject line, or is it just on the subject line that it's deriving that content? So we primarily focus on the subject line, and this is a matter of the um, uh, experimental limitations of database sizes. As you go down further down funnel, there's fewer and fewer eyes on any given bit of content, and also there's many more extraneous factors affecting that. Um, so generally, the subject line has the primary biggest impact, and then it decays as you go further down funnel. We do have customers using us on some of that stuff, but to be honest, the subject line is the be-all and end-all of these mass marketing campaigns. Um, so how do you, I guess I got the whole ranking thing, you know, you compare live versus what your platform's capable of doing, but, and there's a big sort of budget allocation for the problem that you're going after anyway, so it seems like a simple problem to crack. Why are you not a unicorn already? <laughs> um, but the real question though is, how do you actually demonstrate ROI such that within that pool of budget, people want to spend more money with you? That's a great question. Aside from my uh, charming good looks, we do actually have another method. Um, and that's where every time that somebody uses a subject line that's generated by Phrasey, they benchmark it against one that one of their lowly humans writes. And by virtue of doing that, campaign on campaign on campaign, you can actually tell what the marginal lift is versus what humans do. Great example here is Domino's Pizza. Over the first three months that they used our platform had a 59% increase in click-through rates from their campaign. Um, we should probably put their prices up when I think about it like that. We probably sold them a lot of pizza, but I'll talk to them about it, not you. Thank you. <laughs>